of this desert it's really something we have a nice beautiful desert right there yeah who would ever know if bodies were buried out there mafia death row records you know it's definitely one of those things probably the CIA you know the CIA when they want to get rid of somebody who knows? They just disappear. And even Lobo, back in the Mexico days, said, hey, if they want to get you, they'll just disappear you. And what a place to disappear you. But here in the middle of the desert. Here we go, we're coming into Baker, California, and you can see that city kind of lying out there. Not a very big city, but, you know, big enough to have enough stuff going on and small enough to, you know, kind of blend in. And in the middle of the night, dropping a car off there, that was probably already pre-planned where it was going to be dropped. And just like the other planning things here. I mean, we know for sure that they had at least three weeks. Uh, interesting thing uh, came in the other day. There were rumors two weeks before the Vegas incident that Suge Knight was going to be taken out. And everybody was talking about it in Compton. And so, you know, if two weeks before uh, it was being talked about that Suge Knight was being taken out. That kind of fits in with our timeline of going to the gang summit and asking for permission to take out Suge and Tupac. And so, you know, it, it definitely fits in. And then, of course, Tupac appears in court three weeks before, and his punishment is that he has to perform at a police function in Las Vegas. Very strange. Uh, it's a very strange punishment for somebody to have to perform in Las Vegas for a California court as a plea bargain to satisfy a possession charge. And so here we are. We're coming into Baker. There's Baker Boulevard, Baker, California where the murder vehicle was supposedly dropped off so that it could avoid a checkpoint and it could move this in from La Las Vegas from Nevada jurisdiction to the jurisdiction inside of California and it's a different separate county so it wouldn't fall under Los Angeles where a conspiracy probably started uh, the conspiracy was supposed to have started in Balboa Park. And so, clearly, if conspiracy to commit murder starts in California, California could have jurisdiction on this murder. And Las Vegas has said that they're not going to do anything on it because uh, of Tupac saying, fuck you, to the police. And so why do they want to solve this murder? And we go back to the homicide investigator's creed that Russell Poole was so adamant about that no regard for anything, we always want to solve a homicide. And you can see there's the Baker sign. We just hit Baker city limits. And here we are. Don't blink. It's not going to last long. We are definitely in Baker, California. And you get a chance to see where we think the vehicle was dropped off. So, not very big. There is a junkyard here. And it looks like it's been there for a long time. And 
I visited that junkyard when we originally got the confession letter. We made a road trip out here, visited the, uh, the junkyard. So we didn't find a Cadillac. We did find a Lincoln Continental, but the, uh, there were problems with that car. So that clearly wasn't the car, but, but it was an interesting thing to come out here searching for the vehicle and find a white Lincoln Continental and uh, like I said there were problems with that car so it definitely wasn't the vehicle but this is Baker California where the vehicle was dropped off in the murder of Tupac Shakur more later I'm not gonna die until I change this I got a baby girl in this world So I ain't got no choice Don't even go take me out and ride with me And I put that on everything Hot times hit us Yeah, but that's okay I'm a hustler And that won't change Hustling 